Hey Libra, it's CJ and I am going to do your weekly reading for August the 1st to the 7th, 2021. I've already pre-meditated on the cards and have cleansed the space. So we are ready to get started and see what is potentially waiting for you for the first week of our August. I hope you are doing well. Thank you for being here. I truly do appreciate you. Okay, let's get going. Thank you so much, angels and guides. Please show me clearly what messages are there for Leo. Beautiful Libras. I feel like I just said Leo. I don't know if I did. Ah, okay. Interesting. Maybe there's a Leo you're dealing with, if I said it. Thank you so much, angels and guides. Please show me clearly what do you have for our Leo Libras. Almost said it again. Hmm. Thank you so much. Please show me clearly. Thank you. Page of Swords. Page of Swords. A new idea. Starting to take shape. Focusing that sword on something. Two of Cups, could be partnership, let's see, thank you so much angels and guides, what else for our Libras? Hmm. Two of Cups is a nice energy, it's balance, it's partnership, it could be relationship, love relationship, maybe a new way of thinking about a love relationship. Thank you so much, angels and gods. Is there, what else do you, you have for our Libras that first week in August? Please show me clearly. Is there anything else? There has to be something else. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, this one's gotten very quiet here. Please, angels and guides, please show me clearly what else is going on. Okay. We've got Queen of Swords. I think that's all that came out. Okay. And Six of Cups. Okay, that's really interesting. We've got two cups, two swords. Ah, we got the devil underneath. Okay, let's get started here. I'm going to pull that out. And then we have strength underneath that, so it could be important. So we'll see. Thank you, angels and gods. Show me clearly here. What is this message? Okay. Okay. Um, hmm. Yep. Okay. Thank you so much. Yep. Okay. So we've got the page of swords. So this is air. It's our thoughts. It's our intellect. It's the way we process things. Page of swords is a new way of thinking still pretty much in the early stages. Um, but nevertheless, still determined still determined to um, to make something happen, to change a way of thinking. Um, on the bottom of the deck it says, I take care of the detail and stay in control. So perhaps there's something here that you're really needing to look at the details or, or refine the details of it. And it feels like this is a relationship because we have the two of cups. And Two of Cups is, like I said, a beautiful balance, partnership, two people on the same page. Um, it says, I'm worthy of the deepest kind of love. And then we have the Queen of Swords. So that is, again, air sign. Um, but Queen of Swords, she's, she's a little bit more colder. Um, only because she she just doesn't tolerate any kind of crap. She can see through lies, manipulation. She does not like it when someone's treated unfairly. 
in that situation, she will use her sword to sever it or sever the relationship or, you know, not figured so or not literally but more figurative to figuratively if i could speak libra my mouth i don't know um but she also is a protector um on the bottom of this yeah it says i protect what matters to me i feel like you're in the process of kind of protecting some kind of a relationship um and you're having to think a different way about how to go about that and then you have um, the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is watery. This is a water element. Um, but Six of Cups is, it's six, it's balanced, right? But it is also that, um, you know, it's that nostalgia. It's the relationship, someone that you knew from your past a lot of the time. It usually refers from something in your past, person from your past. Oh, I just got it really clear. They just gave it to me for someone out there. So this isn't going to resonate with everyone. That's for sure. But um, I just need to get this message out here. Okay, so this is, they've just given me the picture. It's like there's two people that are a really great partnership. Um, there's a deep love there. Um, but there is something, no, let me rephrase. There is someone from your past that is still causing some kind of dra drama. I almost said trauma. So maybe someone's, well, I almost said she. And this isn't, uh, my readings are never gender specific. Like just take what you can, what fits, let the rest go, all that jazz. Um, but we have the devil underneath the deck. So I think whoever this is coming back in or is in your life right now from your past, there's something really toxic about that energy. There's some, they don't want to let you go, right? They don't want to let you go. Yeah. Um, and so you're basically having to use your sword and come up with a different way of thinking of how to deal with this person. Okay. So the devil, I'm going to show you this card. This is, this is pretty deep here, uh, Libra for whoever this fits. It says I'm free of whatever is holding me back. Um, and then you have the strength underneath that, right? So it's taking a lot of strength to deal with whoever this person is. I feel like this is an ex. Um, <clears throat> I feel like you're in a new relationship. It is a really good partnership. Um, and you want to protect it. But whoever this is from the past doesn't want to let you go. And so they are, they are kind of trying to keep you in their, their grasp. They're trying to keep you in their in their hands and I almost feel like they're kind of going after if you're in a new if this is a new relationship like I said that you're in but it is a, a new it doesn't mean like it had to start yesterday I mean if this is an ex from 10 years ago or three years ago but you're or a year ago but you're in a new beautiful loving relationship I feel like you are really you're gonna use your sword very soon to protect your new love this new love this better this better balance, this better relationship. And you're just really having to be methodical on how you're going to do that. And it is going to take your strength. I'm interested to see if justice, judgment, if any of those kind of cards come out. Um, but whoever this is, usually the Six of Cups, I get a great feeling from that most of the times because it's you know, someone that might come from your past, but, or it can also be like reflecting on the past with happy thoughts of, of happier times, times where you were with people that you really loved and you're compatible and laughter and celebration. I'm not getting that energy at all in this reading at all. I am getting it is there's someone vindictive here. Um, but that's okay. You're strong enough. You're strong enough. You got the strength You got, and you got the intelligence. And Libra, you're so smart, and you are the justice card, right? That represents you. It is about balance. This would be a tough cycle for you to go through. It got, it's tough for anyone to go through. But, you know, Libra, you, you like to keep peace. But I don't think this devil is letting you. Okay, let's see what else we can get. Thank you so much, angels and guides. Um, wow, okay. Who is this? Thank you so much, angels and gods. What else is going on here? 
everybody. Hmm. They don't want to let you go. It's almost like they don't want you, but they don't want you to be with anyone else. That's the energy I'm getting here. Thank you so much, angels and guides. And you're going to have to just come up with a different plan. You're going to have to approach this energy a bit different. Maybe you're going to have to get really tough. Yeah, we got death. Okay. Yeah, it needs to be closed out. This chapter needs to damn well be closed out. Can you, I hope you can see that, Libra. But it's death. It needs to be cleaned out. I'm going to put that over top of the devil because this energy just needs to be squashed. Whew, okay. Uh, thank you so much. What else? What else can you tell us? It feels that this relationship that you're in now is really beautiful. Oh, too many. Thank you. It feels really beautiful and it feels like you know it is a really good match. And so you are going to protect. Please show me clearly. What what can Libra do here? What 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 form of plan can Libra make? I mean, this could be also, uh, you know, reversed, but I don't feel that. But if you're a cross watcher and it makes sense to you, you know, there are no rules here. I feel like this one wants to come up. Oh, the lovers and it was in reverse. Okay, jeez. Okay, it was in reverse. And um, so I'll show you upright. It's the lovers. So this was a lover. This was a this was some kind of a love relationship. But it was in reverse. It is no longer a balanced. Well, and how could it be? Because you have the devil. This the devil is the devil is also keeping this person locked in too. It's kind of like they can't how are they gonna move on if they can't let you go? Like doesn't make sense. And then under the deck is the moon. So something's still hidden, potentially, or use your intuition. You know who this person is. You know how they operate. Maybe start thinking how they think. You know? Maybe that's the answer here. What are they what are they doing? And maybe you need to Well, Libra, I don't know. I, I just feel like, um, gosh, I, it's almost like, for example, that's way too many. Thank you so much, angels, but it's just way too many. It's almost like, let's just say it like this. If they got a lawyer, they got an attorney, for example, and they're coming after you, and you don't want to, you know, go to that level because you're like, oh, I'm not going to fight about it. Um, well, this reading... The energy my guides are giving me is that, you know what, you're going to probably have to do that because you need to protect yourself too. And you need to, you need to shut this down. The death card is here. Thank you so much, angels and guides. Can you please show me clearly? Is there anything else? Thank you. The chariot, and it came out in reverse too. Okay, Libra, they're saying, like, chariot normally upright, you know, that's cancer. Maybe you're dealing with cancer. Um, but the chariot is about, you know, being in the driver's seat, right? You got a horse going to the left, you got a horse going to the right, but you are in the center and you are in control and you know what path you're going on and you're going to start moving in that fast pace heading to where you want to go. Powerful card, powerful energy, major arcana. But it was in reverse. So the way it's coming out for me is, is that Libra, somehow you're going to have to turn yourself, get your clear direction. Because reverse to me is like you just don't really know which way to go. And really you're kind of getting pulled in all different ways. you got to figure out how to turn yourself upright. you got to. 
that's going to be what gets you out of this. So if that is contacting a lawyer, if it's whatever it is, however it fits. But this has to be put to rest once and for all. You need to have this rebirth, this renewed start. Transformation has to happen here. And we've got sun, the sun under the deck. So that's just letting you know that it's all going to be okay. But Libra, you're really going to have to stand up to whoever this is. You don't have to lower yourself down to whatever they're doing because it feels like they're doing sneaky stuff. Sneaky, mean stuff. It feels mean. You don't have to go to that level, but you're going to have to get really precise and really um, sharp. And you're going to have to get really clear on what you're not going to tolerate. And you're going to have to make that really clear to them that you're not going to tolerate it anymore. You have a relationship that you want to protect and it's worth it. So, you know. Ah, uh, okay. I'm going to try and pull one more card. Okay. That was easy. <laughs> Thank you. The fool. Yep. Then you have a brand new beginning. Okay. Close that down here. So that's what you need because then you're going to have a brand new beginning. This relationship is going to be free and you're going to feel, let's put it that way because that it feels more pro pro appropriate. Take that leap. Take that leap to be that bold queen of swords. Don't tolerate the shit anymore. That's it. That's as simple as I can put it. Don't tolerate this harassment. I feel like it's harassment. I feel like it's, um, <clears throat> it's guilt trips. It's, it's all of that. And I don't think whoever this person, this individual is, I don't know if they're able to see their part in the breakdown. I think they're just holding you all accountable. It's very unhealthy. Um, it's unhealthy for you, but it's it's really unhealthy for whoever that is too, because they're keeping themselves um, bound up in this need to almost, I almost feel like it's like a weird revenge. So it's going to be okay though. It's, it's going to be all right. You got the fool, you got the death. It's going to transform. Just try and be brave enough, and you're, you are, you have a lot of courage. You're a wonderful energy. Use that to get really decisive and, and stay strong. Strength, right? Strength card. Okay, Libra, I'm going to pull one card up from the Pearls of Wisdom, and then we're going to close this reading. Thank you so much, angels and guides. I'm so grateful. You're going to get through this. And I'm leaving the chariot upright because that's the energy along with the Queen of Swords that you need to embody now. Thank you so much, angels. Guides, can you give us one card for our Libras to close the reading out? Oh, that's way too many, but I'm going to take the first one that fell. Balance. <laughs> Balance. And then there's truth, new ideas, and reflection. Okay, maybe we'll just, then we'll just take them. All right, let's see. So we've got balance first. Mm. Balance, justice card, your card. Pretty powerful, Libra. Balancing activities and rest will increase your strength. Your body will indicate changes required. Your affirmation is, I am energized. So reminding you to stay balanced. Take care of yourself. But you got to get back to the balance. And you can't have the balance when you have the devil mixing in there. Um, then there's reflections. Looks like a flamingo. We are human. Who says we have to be perfect? Love yourself unconditionally and the angels do as the angels do and the actions and words of others will be the reflection. Okay, I feel like that should just go on two of cups. Um, new ideas. Well, that is exactly what the Page of Swords is about. It's a little bird. A little fish in its mouth. You have a new path to travel, which is access through letter and more positive thoughts. Change the thought and see what happens. Okay, so that's coming, it, that's clearing this up right. It's clearing up the page of swords. If you have any qualms about it, you've got to change the way that you're thinking when dealing with this person. They're not fair. They're the devil right now. So you've got to change your thinking. Be strategic. 
truth. And there's a sword again because you do have the queen and the page of swords. Every situation in life can be seen from many points of view, but the truth is the answer which gives you peace of mind. So you need to do what you need to do. Obviously staying within your own grace, but you need to do what you need to do to get rid of this devil, this energy once and for all. And when you do, you and your, this love, this new partnership, apply it where it fits. You're going to be free and you're going to be able to be like the fool again, a brand new start. And trusting that where you land, you are going to be safe. Okay, Libra. Um, this was a little bit longer one, but that's okay. I hope you found something in here that helps you. Um, just take it easy. Stay balanced. Stay balanced. You can do this. All right, Libra. Thank you so much for joining me. I am so grateful. Until next time, I wish you a wonderful week ahead and take care.